Okay, so here we are, what everyone's waiting for, the walkthrough of dealing with photos in the forum. Um, the first thing you want to do is create a new post. So you go to your forums menu, go down to post a new topic, as if you're on the home page. And uh, I have some rail fanning photos, so I'm going to put this in the real train section. And these are photos from 2011, Southern California photos. Then I'm going to type a message, just some random shots I took while out and about. I'm going to put in two spaces because when these pictures come in I want some separation between my text. I'm also going to bold this so like we showed earlier in part three and that way um, it sticks out. Okay so there we go. Now when I come down here I just click on this black text for upload attachments. It's going to pop up this window and when I uh, come up here to upload files click on that button and don't panic uh, if you don't have an Apple and you have a Windows machine. Uh, just navigate. You probably have your pictures stored under My Pictures if you have them on the desktop. If you have them in your Documents folder, just navigate to where the pictures are. Mine are on my desktop. So I'm going to choose and take these photos right here, um, these rail fanning photos. And there's two ways to select them all. Um, if I want all of these down through Train Tunnel, I select the first one and then I hold the Shift key down and I click on the last file, it will select all of the files. If I want to only select three of the files but not in order, I would use the Control key on the Windows PC keyboard and the Apple Command key on, on an Apple and click the different ones and you see it lets me pull them in a random order. We're going to take all five photos in for the purposes of this tutorial. And you can see it upload, it shows the upload status, processing, queued, successful when they're finally uploaded. These are going fairly quick for this tutorial so we don't have to wait around too long. And now they're in. Now I have a choice of inserting all the uh, photos into the post body which would automatically put them in all of them but let's say that um, I want to attach all these photos but I only want uh, three of them in uh, I will not check this box I'll just hit finished what happens is is that these photos would show at the bottom of the post and if I wanted to insert just a couple of them like this uh, nice picture of this Pacific uh, Fruit Express, I would hit insert and I got several sizes I can pick from. I can either go full size, medium, or small. So we'll hit medium so you can see what that looks like. And I have this great train tunnel um, and I'm going to insert that in. And we'll pick full size for the train tunnel just so you can see. You can also add captions to each one of these um, if if that's something you'd like to do. I'm not going to do that at this time. So here's my photos. Um, if you want a little separation between these you can just click um, and the cursor should, uh, even if you can't see it, if you click on the side of the picture you should be able to add a space. This is where you could add one of those little uh, bars like I showed you before up here if you wanted to separate them or you go to that undo section and get rid of it and um, there you go you've got your photos in your post so the next thing we do is we're going to post this up now and you can see they're in the section and you can see how the attachments show on the bottom and remember we only picked the two photos uh, number two and number five to show up in your post. Okay, so now we'll um, link the photos in from sites like Photobucket, Flickr, um, 
and even uh, JNC Studios, which uh, some people have been storing their photos over there. So just like uh, any post, you hit the Post New Topic button, and um, we'll just put this under, we're not going to post it, but we'll put it under three, three rail O-gauge trains. Um, test photo embed. You're going to come up and over to this icon here, which is the insert edit image. This is going to ask you for the URL for the image. Uh, you could give it a description and a title, but um, the URL is all you need. So let's just go into uh, Photo Bucket. So I have an album already opened up, but let's just say we want to put a picture um, like this in here, this engine. And um, there is a direct link to the photo down here is the second one. So when you click on it, it says copied. So there's not much to do except for just click on it and it copies. Then you come back over to the forum by clicking on the tab. And um, when you click here, you can paste it in. And then when you click down in the preview, you'll be able to see that this, this shows up in the preview. So here it is. And then if you hit insert, it inserts it straight into your um, in, or right into your post. So um, the tough part about this is that it's pretty big. So if you click on the photo and click back on this, you can get into the appearance and you can constrain this down. Um, if you leave this checked, then when you do uh, 600, it should change that for you. So now it's a 600 by 400 and <clears throat> if you hit update, this will show you that it's it's got it a better size. Now, if you click on it again and it's blue, I'm going to show you these other controls under the appearance. This vertical space and this horizontal space um, and the border. So if we put a 5 pixel vertical space and a 5 pixel horizontal space, um, what that does is that if you have a lot of typing around this, it puts in this area between the text and the margin of the picture, it puts five pixels on the vertical. And if you were to wrap your text around the picture, then you're going to get five pixels on the horizontal. So um, that's what that, it creates just a little buffer so your text isn't bumped up right next to the picture. If you go back in and click appearance and click a border and give it a five number five border, it draws a black line around the photo and gives you a, um, a nice border. So if you want to do that, that's fine. Um, but those are the basic uh, controls. And remember, anytime you want to edit what's in there, just click on the photo so it, it highlights it blue. Then you can get back into this box and change it. Okay, so now we're going to add a couple spaces and we'll go in and um, get a photo off JNC. So I'm going to pick on John Boy and his nice 7-Eleven model. And all you have to do here on these pictures, if you want to pull them out, is you can actually um, do a control click or a right click over the picture. And you'll get an, an option to copy the image URL. So when you copy that, um, that stores that uh, website address for the picture. When you go over in the forum and now your cursor is down here below this picture and you click on the uh, <clears throat> picture icon, now you can just paste that in there. There's the image for 7-Eleven. Remember, go over to your appearance, double check. So this is 540. Remember the other picture is 600, so it'll be pretty decent and we'll give it um, some vertical space uh, and then just hit insert and we won't put a border on this one so we can see the difference. There it goes. Now um, let's show you how to get them out of Flickr. Flickr is a lot more trouble. Uh, I had to play around with it the other day to figure it out. So um, if you're into Flickr, uh, I haven't figured out a way around this yet. So anyway, 
uh, go into your stream and let's just say we're going to post this photo here and we click on it. Um, this is fine. The, the issue here is we used to be able to go just to share and grab the link or choose to grab the link um, and be able to take this uh, image or this this copy it then we could go over in and when we hit this picture icon when you when you paste that I or that um, address in when you click here you get this broken link see this is a broken link so for whatever reason um, the Hoopla software does not like this direct Flickr address so the workaround in Flickr is that um, what you can do is you can if you click on the picture it opens it up into this like gallery view by right clicking you either have to go into these sizes or you can go up to the sizes up here and once it's in these sizes pick like 640 is fine if you right click it you get to copy that image URL again then when you go back into here and you select this and then you paste. It's a different um, address. You can see it's a completely different address, but see, it shows up perfect. Hit the insert button and you're in. Now remember, if you need some of that buffer space, just click on it again. Go back into here, hit your appearance. This is 640 pixels, so if we wanted to match the top photo, I'll put it at 600. We'll give it five on the vertical space and hit update. And that's how you get a Flickr picture in there. So just about any of these uh, pictures, if you want to add them, you just have to get the, the web address where that picture is stored and put it in here. Um, but as we can see with Flickr, um, it's not that simple, but it seems like the other two websites that most of the members use are very simple. So that's it. Uh, the next video I'll put together is working with the video embeds. Thanks for watching.